how do you stop people from just giving their cars to these guys to make money? Because that enables this whole thing. And the only way to do it is for me to take their cars. All right, guys, Valentine's Day is right around the corner. And if you're lucky enough, and I know most of you are guys, if you're lucky enough to be dating a girl who's also into cars, good news. I've got your Valentine's Day covered because flowers are a given. You got to give them. But gifts are tougher, right? You don't know what to really get. Either you're going to get jewelry. It's super expensive. Well, good news. Not with today's video sponsor, Garage Girls. Garage Girl sells jewelry anywhere from like 30 up to $120. So it's really nice, but it's also focused on the automotive space. So you can get turbo rings, piston necklaces, everything is based around cars. It speaks to the inner car girl and your girlfriend, which you don't want to lose because she's into cars and you're into cars. So don't screw this one up. It's Valentine's Day. Use promo code SSR. It's going to get you free shipping. You have a couple of days left to order. Anything ordered by February 7th will show up by Valentine's Day. Get your order in soon. Link in the description. It's SSR is the promo code for free shipping. GarageGirlsJewelry.com. There's a link right below in the description. What's up, everybody? Rob Ferretti here, and I am going to do something that I've never wanted to do, right? It's something that I've always tried to avoid because there's no real reason for me to do it. When you have a business, the last thing you want to do is to rent somebody else's car. Why? Because now you're splitting the revenue with somebody. Why would you want to split the revenue with somebody when you just go out and get your own car and you keep the majority of the revenue? Because it's much cheaper to go out and buy the car, take the risk, buy the car, eat the depreciation, the maintenance, the interest expense, and then rent the car out. And you're generating the same amount of money whether you rent somebody else's car or your own. Problem is there's too many companies out there that can't get the cars that will then take other people's cars. And they're offering, some stuff is mind boggling, but they're offering stuff to people and people are like, all right, well, I want to rent the car. And this guy says he'll rent the car. And you've got all these illegitimate brokers gro growing and growing. And I'm like, how do you stop this, right? It's illegal. They don't have the right insurance. They don't do anything, but they also can't get the cars. They don't have the lines of credit and they'll ultimately go out of business if you stop their, their stream of cars, the people that are willing to just give them cars. So how do you stop people, other than educating them that it's a risky manu uh, maneuver to give them a car, how do you stop people from just giving their cars to these guys to make money? Because that enables this whole thing. And the only way to do it is for me to take their cars. Because by giving them a legitimate outlet in which their cars can be rented, then I, I can do it. And th that's why I've never wanted to do it I'm going to make it available to people and I'll explain why. Now, the things that these guys don't offer, they don't have commercial insurance. They don't really know what they're doing. They're just going out renting cars willy-nilly. They're taking it because they can't otherwise get it. There's a company out there that's out there renting cars and they're charging you. You give me the car and you can either give me whatever, 20,000, 30,000 or 50,000 in addition to giving me the car. And in exchange for this, I will give you a different revenue split. I'll give you 50% or 60 or 70%, depending on how much cash you're giving me up front to rent your car for you. It's not like they have another option to get the cars. They can't go out and scoop up all these cars. Then it just, it's a hot mess. And I just see it getting worse because people are very, especially now as the economy is starting to go down and you're running into issues where people are going to be buried in these cars and they're like, crap. Now I have this car that I bought. I bought a G-Wagon for 275. It's worth 190. I either have to file for bankruptcy, dump the thing, go into collections, or I'll have somebody rent it out for me to offset my costs. So I am going to offer a legitimate outlet for people to try to snuff out this competition. It's absurd to me. I'm actually offering something and I still wouldn't charge you for taking your car. Like that's anyone that would contemplate giving somebody, paying somebody to give them something that they need is like Tom Sawyer making you paint the fence. That's a pretty tough job, huh? Calling that work? You know, you don't get the opportunity to paint a picket fence every day. Mind if I give it a try? <laughs> Come on. Thanks, man. Like, it's so astronomically stupid. However, uh, what I will be offering people, I'm going to take other people's cars that 
either own them. So th these are the conditions because I'm not, I'm not a gypsy operation. I'm a professional rental company and I will rent your car. However, you have to own your car. You have to sign an assumption of risk that this is a risky business. I've made so many videos about things that could go wrong. You're going to know that you're, you're going to know these are my policies. I'm going to stick to these policies. And if something happens, you are also assuming that risk with your asset. So it's not like, well, Rob got my car stolen. I didn't get your car stolen. I followed all the rules. Like I did everything that we were supposed to do. Sometimes that happens. It's part of the business. So you're going to either own your car outright or have a letter of permission from your lien holder acknowledging the rental use. Because that's I, I don't play games. It's going to go on my commercial rental policy. That will be paid for by you. I'm not asking you for any money, but if your car doesn't go out, if you give me a uh, Maserati MC20 and somebody doesn't want to rent a Maserati MC20 and it incurs costs, you will be responsible for those costs. You're responsible for maintaining the car, right? It's your job to maintain the car and present the car that is in good mechanical condition. If it needs to be maintained and you're not doing it, I will get the maintenance done and then I will take it out of the money that comes in. All of this stuff is going to happen. I'm not, you're responsible for your own car payments if you have car payments. So I will have it insured. I will provide the, the rental, uh, the, the, obviously the visibility, the rental, the contracts, the delivery, and I will pay you a percentage, uh, probably a 50, 50 split on time and mileage, which is time and mileage is the rental time, the billing for the rental time, and then the additional mileage. Cause that directly impacts your car. So everything else, delivery fees, um, car washes, fuel that when I charge somebody, it's going to go right back to me. That's not something you're going to be receiving. It's just going to be the time and mileage. This is a legitimate brokering offer for people that are looking to rent their cars. And I've had so many people approach me over the years. I've always said no, because I don't need the cars. I'll go get a bank loan and get the cars that I need. I've got a, a significant line of credit that I can use to purchase cars that I need. However, if these cars are going to be on the market anyway, and they're just enabling these other people to form fleets and start the best rental company in the tri-state when they're not even really a rental company and they don't have anything, it's the easiest way to snuff them out is to give a legitimate outlet for people that do want to get their car rented. Now, another thing, I'm offering you the ability to give me your car and I will rent it out for you at that revenue split. However, if you bring me a customer and you say like, hey, I source this customer, here you go, you're going to get... 70%. I'll take 30. You brought me the customer. You, like I, I'm all I'm doing is now facilitating this. So I think you should be entitled to a larger piece of that. So you'll be generating 70% of the revenue. If it's a thousand dollars a day, I keep 300, you get 700. Simple as that. Like that's a fair approach to your asset being managed by me, but uh, it's going to be a legitimate outlet for somebody that wants to make money renting their own cars. Obviously, if you give me a C8 and I have two other C8s and somebody's not specifically asking for your color C8, my C8's going out first. It's my car. There's no reason I'm going to rent your car when I can be renting my car. We'll agree upon rates. All of this stuff will be legitimate and it'll be a way to try to get rid of these scummy companies that are out there doing the rollbacks, taking their personal leases, not getting the right insurance, doing it just, it pollutes the industry. It sucks. It sucks to have to deal with. And it's only going to get worse in my estimation, given the fact that uh, the economy is going to start going down and people are going to start running into issues, having all these cars sitting there. If you are interested in this, don't like, and if you know somebody who's talking about doing it, if you know somebody who's giving their car to some other shyster to go out and rent and you know and they can't provide a proof of a commercial rental policy that that car is listed on it etc 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 uh you send them this video you send them my way i'll happily take it because this is the only way i'm going to be able to combat this problem and prevent it from getting even larger if you have a personal vehicle you don't want to deal with somebody you don't want to deal with me go to toro they've got insurance that's the cleanest way for you to do it yes they take a big piece yes there's restrictions yes if there's uh, bad experiences people have had. Yes, there's uh, loss of use issues. And if the car goes down, you're only getting a certain amount and it could be out for six months and you're losing money. Welcome to the business. But if you want to rent a car in the New York tri-state area that you own, or you have the ability to get your financier to sign off on the fact that it's going to be used as a rental, you're willing to pay the rental insurance and you're willing to leave it in my possession with GPS and everything like that. We're good. Rob Ferretti, thank you for watching. Uh, don't give your car to these people, I promise you, unless they can establish 
that your car is actually protected in the case of an accident or a theft or something like that. You are getting nothing from them. And the fact that somebody would write them a check to rent their car out for them boggles my mind. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Let's hope this works. Thank you.